Hi guys, thank you very much for tuning in on Slick Hair TV. Today we will talk about how to get the perfect haircut when you are changing hairdresser. So I invited Mike to get his first haircut by Nicolina. I'm very excited to see how it all will go because you have a lot of requirements. Yeah. And Nicolina, you're a good listener. I am, so I think it's gonna be great. If you are up for it. I am, definitely. Let's get Mike in the chair and then get as yeah. close to um, the perfect haircut as possible. Sounds great. Let's do it. Mike has very thick hair and he explained to us that his main obstacle is the volume on the sides. When his hair grows out, his top part becomes round, so Nicolina is going to explain us how to avoid the situation. It's a good idea for you to also come in like three weeks and get only the sides cut and then wait three weeks again to get the entire haircut because then you have a fresh haircut all the time. That's a good idea when you like it to be quite short. We're gonna start off with a hair wash. First, we start off with the Bivalane Rush Shampoo. The cooling menthol and peppermint oils produces a tingly feeling in your scalp, which increases the blood circulation and also minimizes dryness. I recommend that if you stay in the shower, you give yourself a nice head massage, and that's just a nice way to start the mornings. We always recommend that you use a conditioner to finish off your hair wash. The Rush Conditioner transforms your dry and damaged hair and restores the radiance, leaving you deeply nourished. When you are cutting your beard at home and you're gonna correct the length of these, try to take the top of the ears rounding here, you can do it with the comb, and take it like this. So you always get the same length on both sides. First step to start the fade, use the 10mm guard on your machine on the sides. Mike explained us that he has a curved backhead shape. So as you can see, Nicolina is creating a kind of mohawk based hairstyle to balance the head shape. Then with the second step, we must use the 4.5mm guard with the blade closed. And finally on the last step, we are gonna use the 1.5mm guard with open blade. This kind of fade is called a natural fade. Nicolina uses her scissors and thinning scissors to fade the hair all together. If you have a little bit of curvy back head, then it's some sort of skills that takes a lot of practice. Now you see Nicolina, she is topping off the hair in the fringes to get different lengths, to have a good texture and a more natural look. Now Nicolina is correcting the length of the sideburns her reference is the top of the ears. Nicolina is soon done with the hairstyle and I think you have done a good job so far. Before getting to the styling process, we would like to talk about the pre-styling. I think we're gonna use uh, the sidekick to blow dry the hair so we can get it into the shape that we would like. And then we're gonna use the dynamite clay because it adds a little bit of volume because we have the clay. So it gives a very matte structure to it so you can't see that you have the product in it and you still get a lot of hold. If you're looking for a matte finish, and if you have darker hair, we might recommend to use our Bivalane Dynamite Clay, because dark hair used to become very shiny with hair products. Dynamite Clay is a very strong holding clay wax. It's very good for shorter hairstyles. Just keep in mind that you boost your hair with a lot of volume and some sort of dry sandy texture, which is very nice. We're done now with the haircut. I think Nicolina did a good job, and I would like to hear you, Mike. Did we get as close to the 100%? I would say so. I like it a lot. I'm happy to hear that. Also, we would like to throw a competition where you can win a Gold Digger Limited Edition. All you have to do is comment down below if you are sticking to the same hairdresser every time or if you try something new once in a while. And yes, we will give one of these Limited Edition Gold Diggers. Now we would like you to like the video and share the video on your social media. Then you will uh, help us get out with our message. See you guys next time.